Hey there, I want to talk to you today about songwriting mise en place. Mise en place is a French culinary term. It means putting in place or everything in its place. It, it, it refers to the act of, in cooking, when you want to prepare a meal or a menu, you gather everything you need before you start. So all the tools, all the ingredients are right in your station so that once you start cooking, all you have to do is reach for that thing, reach for this ingredient. You never have to break your flow. For me, developing songwriting mise en place has helped tremendously because when I sit down to songwrite, I don't want any distractions. And I've found over the years that if I get up to go get a glass of water, if I get up to go get more paper or to go find my rhyming dictionary, chances are sometime in that little journey I take, I'm gonna be derailed. I'll pick up my phone and check my email. I'll notice that this part of my apartment's dirty and I need to clean it. And then next thing I know, I'm not getting back to writing my songs. So, or that particular song. So, songwriting mise en place, everything, everything is in its place. Everything I could need, everything I think I could need is right within arm's reach before I start. What do I have in arm's reach? What does that look like for me? To begin with, all of my song ideas, which I keep in a folder called song ideas. These are loose leaf sheets of paper with songs that have been started. And if, they, if this folder can fit it, other things that inspire my song. So right now I'm writing a couple of songs that are inspired by photos. So I've got a little photo in here with the song that goes with it, the writing. So songwriting ideas, that's one thing. Songs in progress. This is a huge binder or folder of songs that I've started at some point. I want this nearby in case I get frustrated with the song I'm working on. It's helped to be able to re it's, it helps to be able to reach something else and just pick that up and start working on that. Song lyric study sheets. Whenever I hear a song I love, am reminded of a song I love, I will take the time not when I'm songwriting, of course, outside of songwriting, and get the lyrics and put them on a sheet of paper and print them out. And that way I can study the lyrics and analyze them much like I analyzed poetry when I was an English major. But I like to have these lyrics to all my favorite songs and songs I wish I had written nearby. Rhyme sheets. This is a little project of mine. As I'm songwriting, obviously I go looking for rhymes and I usually turn to another thing that's right within arm's reach, my rhyming dictionary. But I've noticed over the years that when looking for a rhyme, often out of 100 rhymes, there's maybe 20 or 10 that are really only the only ones that are usable. So. I've taken to writing them down, you know, just handwriting them on a separate sheet of paper so that when I'm looking for a rhyme for an O sound, for example, I don't have to go to this book and, and look at the 150. I just can look at the 50. The other thing that this has helped with is that the act of writing them down, all those rhymes and organizing them has helped me gain skill as a songwriter and as a person who is fluent and has facility with rhymes. Title, titles, songwriting titles. This is a book of titles. Whenever I think of a title or hear a phrase that I think could be a good title, it goes in here, so I want this nearby. Obviously, sheets of paper to write on. I write on loose leaf sheets of paper, so there's a stack there. analog kitchen timers. These are super important for me. I time various aspects of my songwriting and I need these handy, at least two. Glass of water. Again, I don't want to have to go to my kitchen, you know, get a glass of water in the middle of my songwriting. I could, there could be something lurking there that will uh, take my attention away from what I'm actually doing. So, pens, pencils, 
multiple different kinds. Sticky notes, post-it notes. I use these for a couple of different things. When I start a songwriting session, I like to write down what my goal is for that session. You know, write a complete first draft of a chorus. I write that on this. Also, I found that these are handy to have because when you're writing, often things come through your mind. Oh, water the plants. Oh, go pick up your mail. Oh, pay that bill. I don't want to stop to go do those things, obviously. And I also don't want to crowd my brain with those kinds of thoughts. So I just write them down on here, attend to them after I finish writing a song. Analog clock. So I know what time it is. Guitar picks in a little bowl. Chapstick, gum. I think that's it. Well, obviously my guitar this to work with. It's right here. And you can see behind me is my piano, but that's everything that I need to sit down and focus 100% on writing a song. All right, it's time for you to create your own songwriting mise en place. So you need to go gather everything you do use, you could use, you would use to songwrite, and I want you to have it all in front of you before you start your next session. And then I wanna know at the end of your session if having it right there in front of you, all those things, made it easier for you to focus. Did you get more done? What was the experience like? Also, I'd love to know what's in your mise en place. What are the things that you like to have around you when you songwrite?